Have you ever pondered upon the roots of the indomitable spirit that is synonymous with Jamaica? The answer lies within the stories of its heroes, the torchbearers of change who have shaped the course of Jamaica's history. Our journey commences with the Maroons, a community of escaped slaves who established free communities in Jamaica's mountainous interior during the 17th century. These fierce warriors, led by legendary figures like Queen Nanny, fought valiantly against British colonial forces, safeguarding their freedom and laying the foundation for a legacy of resistance. Fast forward to the 19th century, where we encounter the heroic Samuel Sharp, a leader, a preacher and a freedom fighter. Sharp led the Christmas Rebellion of 1831, a significant event that triggered the process of emancipation in Jamaica. Sharp's sacrifice, his fight for freedom and his vision for a just society echo in the hearts of Jamaicans even today. As we traverse into the 20th century, we meet the charismatic Marcus Garvey, a political activist, a journalist and a proponent of the Pan-Africanism movement. Garvey's call for black empowerment and his efforts towards racial equality have left an indelible mark on Jamaica and the world. His words, up you mighty race, accomplish what you will, continue to inspire generations. Our journey culminates with the story of Michael Manley, the fourth prime minister of Jamaica. Manley's tenure, characterized by his commitment to social justice, equality and education, transformed the socio-political landscape of Jamaica. His legacy of progressive policies continues to shape the nation's path towards a more equitable future. In essence, the history of Jamaica is a testament to the power of courage, resilience and the human spirit. The Maroons, Samuel Sharp, Marcus Garvey and Michael Manley, each of these figures have played a pivotal role in shaping Jamaica's history. They stood against oppression, fought for freedom, championed equality and envisioned a better future for their homeland. Their stories illuminate Jamaica's past, resonate in its present and inspire its future. They remind us of the strength inherent in standing up for what is right, the power of resilience in the face of adversity and the enduring influence of those who dare to dream. Their legacies continue to shape the cultural, social and political tapestry of Jamaica, honouring the spirit of heroism that defines this vibrant nation. So, as we reflect on the chronicles of these Jamaican heroes, their heroic deeds and their enduring influence, let their stories inspire us. Let their courage embolden us. And let their spirit of resilience and determination ignite within us the flame to strive for a better world. For in their stories we find our own, and in their legacy we find the essence of Jamaica's indomitable spirit. What does it take to overcome adversity? To rise above the challenges that life throws your way and emerge stronger, wiser, and more resilient? To answer that question, it may be helpful to turn to the pages of history, to the life of an extraordinary woman known as Nanny of the Maroons. Born in the early 18th century in what is now Ghana, West Africa, Nanny was captured as a young girl and transported across the Atlantic to Jamaica, where she was enslaved on a sugar plantation. Despite the brutal conditions of her captivity, Nanny remained unbroken. Her spirit, as fierce and untamed as the jungle that surrounded her, refused to be shackled. Nanny's first triumph came when she, along with her brothers, escaped the plantation and fled into the dense, unforgiving wilderness of the Blue Mountains. Here, Nanny established a community of free people, known as the Maroons, who resisted British colonial rule for decades. Nanny's leadership and tactical genius were pivotal in the Maroons' resistance. She crafted guerrilla warfare strategies that kept the British at bay, utilizing the rugged landscape and her intimate knowledge of herbal medicines to her advantage. Nanny's strategic thinking, a testament to her wisdom and cunning, played an essential role in her ability to overcome adversity. But Nanny didn't face these challenges alone. She understood the power of community and drew strength from the people who rallied behind her. This unity, this shared sense of purpose, fortified the Maroons against the hardships they faced. Nanny's story highlights the importance of seeking and accepting support when faced with adversity. As the years passed, the Maroons' struggle for freedom became increasingly complex. But Nanny's resilience never wavered. She adapted her strategies to the changing circumstances, proving that flexibility and adaptability are key when facing challenges. Perhaps the most striking aspect of Nanny's legacy, however, is her unwavering self-belief. Despite the odds stacked against her, Nanny never lost faith in her cause or in herself. This steadfast conviction fueled her resistance, 
and ultimately, her triumph. The life of Nanny of the Maroon serves as a potent reminder of the power of courage, strategic thinking, community support, adaptability, and self-belief in overcoming adversity. Her story is a testament to the indomitable human spirit and its capacity to rise above even the most daunting challenges. Nanny's legacy continues to inspire, offering valuable lessons on resilience, perseverance, and the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. Seacole's journey to becoming a symbol of compassion and resilience wasn't without its hardships. She faced racial prejudice, financial hardship, and the horrors of war. Yet, she soldiered on, never losing her spirit or her commitment to care for those in need. In the midst of the Crimean War, Seacole found herself on the front lines, tending to wounded soldiers with unwavering dedication. Despite being denied a nursing position by the British War Office due to her race, she self-funded her journey to the battlefields. There she established a British hotel, a haven for sick and wounded soldiers. Seacole's work during the war was nothing short of heroic. She ventured onto the battlefield to nurse the wounded, braving gunfire and shell blasts. Her courage and dedication didn't go unnoticed. Upon her return to England, she was hailed as a heroine with her bravery and contributions widely recognized. Mary Seacole's impact on healthcare is immeasurable. She broke barriers, challenged prejudices, and paved the way for nurses of all races and backgrounds. Her legacy lives on, not only in the countless lives she touched, but also in the values she championed, compassion, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to care. Even today, Seacole's spirit thrives in healthcare professionals worldwide. Her story serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative power of compassion and resilience in the face of adversity. Mary Seacole, a beacon of compassion, continues to illuminate the path for all those dedicated to the noble pursuit of healing. So, as we navigate the complex landscape of healthcare, we remember Mary Seacole, a resilient nurse who defied barriers. Her story inspires us to strive for compassion, resilience, and inclusivity in healthcare, reminding us that it's not just about treating illnesses, but also about nurturing the human spirit. Mary Seacole's legacy endures a testament to the power of compassion, resilience, and the unyielding spirit of humanity. Shelley Ann Fraser Price, a name synonymous with speed, strength, and sensation. The world of track and field reverberates with the echoes of her powerful strides and the thunderous applause of her numerous victories. Born in Kingston, Jamaica, Fraser Price was a force of nature from the start. Her passion for sprinting was kindled early, and her talent was undeniable. Her dedication to the sport, coupled with her natural speed, made her a standout athlete from the start. Her career took off like a rocket, mirroring her explosive starts on the track. Multiple Olympic gold medals, world championship victories, and record-breaking performances soon followed. Each victory further solidified her status as an unmatched sprinting sensation. However, Fraser Price's impact extends far beyond the finish line. Her achievements have inspired a generation of athletes to chase their dreams, to push their limits, to strive for greatness. She is not just a sprinter, she is a trailblazer, a beacon of hope for those aspiring to make their mark on the world of sports. Off the track, Fraser Price is equally impressive. Her dedication to her community and her commitment to charitable work have made her a role model for many. She uses her platform to empower others, to uplift those around her and to make a difference in the world. In conclusion, Shelley Ann Fraser Price's legacy is not just about speed and victories, it's about inspiration, perseverance and making a difference. Her name will forever be etched in the annals of track and field, a testament to her speed, strength and sensational career. A true icon, a true champion, that is Shelley Ann Fraser Price. Have you ever wondered how one woman could redefine the norms of fashion and entertainment, becoming a beacon of audacious individuality? This is the story of Grace Jones, a woman who fearlessly broke boundaries and set new standards for artistic expression. Born in Jamaica, Grace Jones was infused with a bold spirit from a young age. The island's vibrant culture and her family's strong will shaped a young woman who would soon take the world by storm. Fashion was never just an accessory for Grace Jones. She lived it, breathed it, and most importantly, redefined it. Her avant-garde style and audacious demeanor became her signature, inspiring millions to embrace their uniqueness. 
But Grace Jones was more than just a fashion icon. As a model, she captivated the industry with her striking presence. As a singer, her voice echoed her bold persona, resonating with audiences worldwide. And as an actress, she brought depth and nuance to her characters, demonstrating the range of her artistic talent. Beyond her individual accomplishments, Grace Jones stood as a beacon for diversity and representation. She shattered barriers in the entertainment industry, creating space for a more inclusive future. And so we arrive at the legacy of Grace Jones, a legacy that is woven into the fabric of fashion and entertainment. Her fearless spirit continues to inspire, pushing boundaries and challenging norms. Grace Jones, a true trailblazer, reminds us all of the power of being unapologetically ourselves. In the end, the story of Grace Jones is one of audacity and innovation, a testament to the power of individuality in shaping our world. Her influence reverberates through the realms of fashion and entertainment, a testament to her unyielding spirit and groundbreaking legacy. And so, we leave you with this thought. Grace Jones did not just wear fashion, she was fashion. She did not just entertain, she was entertainment. And her legacy? Well, it's as bold and audacious as the woman herself. Can you imagine a world where the vibrancy of Jamaican patois the captivating rhythms of our folk songs and the colorful threads of our culture remained unnoticed, unappreciated, or even worse, forgotten. The Jamaican cultural landscape might have looked quite different without the tireless efforts of one remarkable woman, Louise Bennett Coverley, or as we affectionately know her, Miss Lou. Born in Kingston, Jamaica, in the early days of September 1919, Miss Lou's passion for her country's language and culture blossomed early. She possessed an insatiable curiosity and a deep love for the Jamaican Patois, a language often dismissed as nothing more than broken English. Undeterred by this, she saw the beauty in its rhythm, the richness of its expressions and its crucial role in the Jamaican identity. Miss Lou's journey took her across the Atlantic to England's Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, where she became the first black student to study, breaking barriers and challenging conventions. On her return to Jamaica, she found herself working with the Jamaica Social Welfare Commission, teaching at the University of the West Indies, and hosting radio programs for the BBC. Her work didn't stop there. Miss Lou danced across stages, captivating audiences with her performances. She wove stories into verses, penned books, and hosted a children's television program. Her voice echoed across radio waves. Her words painted pictures on pages, and her performances brought Jamaican folklore to life. Throughout her journey, Miss Lou's work embodied a deep-rooted love for her culture. She used her platform to validate the Jamaican Patois as a language worthy of literature. Her poetry, written in Jamaican Patois, reflected the lives of everyday people, painting vivid images of working-class women navigating a post-colonial landscape. Miss Lou's impact on Jamaican culture is immeasurable. She played a pivotal role in preserving the Jamaican Patois, ensuring its survival for generations to come. Her tireless efforts in promoting Jamaican folklore and music have cemented her place as a cultural icon. Today, over a decade after her passing, Miss Lou's legacy endures. Her influence can be felt in the heart of Jamaican culture. She is remembered fondly as a beloved cultural ambassador who brought the vibrant colors, infectious rhythms, and captivating stories of Jamaica to the world. So, as we celebrate our vibrant culture, our melodious patois, and our rich heritage, we must remember to tip our hats to the cultural maestra, Miss Lou, the woman who worked tirelessly to ensure that our culture was not only preserved, but celebrated. Her spirit continues to guide us, reminding us of the beauty in our language, the richness of our traditions, and the strength of our identity. Thank you, Miss Lou, for your enduring legacy. Has there ever been a voice as powerful and captivating as Tessan Chin's? A voice that not only resonates with pitch-perfect clarity, but also carries an undercurrent of raw, emotional intensity that can move an audience to their feet. Born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica, Tess Ann Chin's love for music was evident from a tender age. She began her professional career as a backup singer for reggae legend Jimmy Cliff, which was a profound learning experience that nourished her blossoming talent. From there, Tess Ann ventured into a solo career, releasing her debut album, in Between Words, in 2006. The album was a testament to her unique blend of reggae, rock, R, and B, and soul. 
showcasing her versatility as an artist. But it was in 2013 that Tassan's career took a flight beyond expectations. She auditioned for the fifth season of the NBC singing competition, The Voice. Her rendition of Pink's Try during the blind auditions stirred the coaches and the audience alike, marking the beginning of an unforgettable journey. Tessan's performances on The Voice were nothing short of spectacular. Her rendition of Simon and Garfunkel's Bridge Over Troubled Water was a standout moment, earning her a standing ovation and widespread acclaim. Eventually, Tessan Chin emerged as the winner of The Voice Season 5, cementing her place in the annals of music history. Post The Voice, Tessan's career continued to flourish. She released her major label debut album, Count On My Love, under Republic Records, further showcasing her vocal prowess and artistic versatility. But Tessan's influence extends far beyond her music. Her journey from a young Jamaican singer to an international star serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration to countless aspiring artists. She continues to use her platform to advocate for various charitable causes, furthering her impact beyond the realm of music. In a nutshell, Tessan Chin's journey is a testament to talent, perseverance and the power of dreams. Her rise to fame isn't just about a singer with a beautiful voice, it's about a woman who dared to dream big, worked tirelessly to hone her craft and inspired millions along the way. Her legacy continues to reverberate through the music industry, proving that with passion and dedication, the sky's the limit. Immerse in the symphony of a man whose music knew no boundaries, whose lyrics echoed the cries of the oppressed, and whose legacy continues to inspire. This is the story of Bob Marley, a man whose melodies sparked a revolution. Born into the impoverished neighborhoods of Kingston, Jamaica, Robert Nestor Marley found solace in music. His songs became the pulse of a nation, the rhythm of a revolution. His lyrics, woven with the threads of resistance, resilience and unity, resonated with millions across the globe. Marley's journey wasn't just about creating music. It was about inspiring change. His songs became anthems, rallying cries for those seeking justice, equality and peace. His music transcended cultural barriers, uniting people from all walks of life in a shared rhythm of hope and unity. But Marley's impact didn't stop at the edge of the stage. He was an activist, using his platform to amplify the voices of the oppressed, to challenge the status quo, and to advocate for a world where love and unity could drown out hate and division. Marley's physical presence may have left us, but his spirit, his message, and his music live on. His melodies continue to inspire, to unite, and to challenge. They are the echoes of a revolution that continues to reverberate through the corridors of time. Today, the music of Bob Marley is more than just a collection of songs. It's a testament to the power of music to inspire change, to challenge injustice, and to unite humanity. It's an enduring legacy that continues to resonate, a timeless call to action that inspires each new generation to strive for a better, more united world. So, as we honor the legacy of Bob Marley, we celebrate not just a musician, but a revolutionary. A man whose melodies sparked a revolution, whose lyrics continue to inspire, and whose music continues to unite us all in a shared rhythm of hope, love, and unity. Imagine being born in a small Caribbean island, yet leaving an indelible mark on the world. This is the story of Marcus Garvey, a man whose vision transcended borders and whose legacy echoes in the hearts of millions today. Born in Jamaica in 1887, Garvey would grow to become a beacon of empowerment and unity for people of African descent across the globe. Garvey lived in an era marred by racial discrimination and inequality, but he was not one to stand idle. His response was to inspire, to educate, and to unite. His weapon of choice? Words. His battlefield. The hearts and minds of his people. In 1914, Garvey founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association, a game-changer in the fight against racial inequality. The UNAA aimed to uplift and unify people of African heritage, advocating for economic independence, educational advancement, and a deep-seated pride in their shared heritage. But Garvey didn't stop there. He launched the Negro World newspaper, a platform that spread his message of racial pride and self-determination far and wide. He understood the power of the written word and used it to fuel a global movement. 
Gavi also spearheaded the Back to Africa movement, an ambitious plan to reconnect Africans in the diaspora with their ancestral homeland. He dreamed of a unified Africa, free from the shackles of colonial rule. In pursuit of this dream, he established the Black Star Line Shipping Company, a testament to his commitment to economic independence for his people. So, what does Garvey's legacy look like today? It's a flame of empowerment and unity that continues to burn brightly. His vision, his courage, and his unwavering belief in the potential of his people continue to inspire generations of leaders and activists. His message of unity and self-reliance resonates across continents and serves as a beacon of hope for people of African descent worldwide. Marcus Garvey's life is a testament to the power of vision and resilience. His journey from a small island in the Caribbean to the global stage is a reminder that no matter where we come from, our potential to affect change is limitless. His legacy is not just a chapter in history. It's a rallying cry for unity, self-reliance and pride in our heritage that rings true today, tomorrow, and for generations to come. Who was Paul Bogle, and why does his name echo through the annals of Jamaican history? Why does the Morant Bay Rebellion hold such a significant place in the history books? These are the questions that invite us to delve deeper into a story of courage, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of justice. Born in Free Jamaica in the early 1820s, Paul Bogle emerged from the humble beginnings of Stony Gut, a small village in the parish of St. Thomas. From these modest roots, Bogle would rise to become a Baptist deacon, a community leader, and a symbol of hope for the disenfranchised. Bogle's life took a pivotal turn in 1865. The Emancipation Act of 1834 had promised freedom and equality, but the reality was far from it. The majority of Jamaicans, now free from the shackles of slavery, were landless, poor, and largely ignored by the colonial government. It was against this backdrop of inequality and frustration that Bogle decided to act. In October of 1865, Bogle led a group of protesters from Stony Gut to Morant Bay. Their aim was to protest the unjust conditions and their method peaceful. However, the peaceful protest quickly escalated into a violent confrontation, marking the beginning of the Morant Bay Rebellion. The rebellion was brief but bloody. The colonial government responded with brutal force, executing Bogle and hundreds of others in a violent crackdown. The Morant Bay Rebellion was over, but its impact was far-reaching. The violent response to the rebellion shocked the world and led to a thorough investigation by the British Crown. Governor Edward John Eyre, who had ordered the ruthless reprisals, was recalled, marking a significant shift in colonial governance. The Morant Bay Rebellion, and Paul Bogle's pivotal role in it, marked a turning point in Jamaican history. It was a catalyst for change, paving the way for social and political reforms that would gradually transform the lives of Jamaican people. In the end, Paul Bogle, the man from Stony Gut, became more than a leader. He became a symbol of resistance, a beacon of hope, and a testament to the power of the human spirit to stand against injustice. His story, and the story of the Morant Bay Rebellion, serves as a reminder that the pursuit of justice is a journey, often paved with sacrifice, but always worth the struggle. In the annals of history, the story of George William Gordon stands as a beacon of hope amid a backdrop of hardship. Born into a world marred by the inhumanity of slavery, Gordon's early life was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Witnessing the plight of the enslaved, Gordon's conscience stirred, and he found his life's purpose. A successful businessman, he used his influence not for personal gain, but to become an advocate for the oppressed. His voice was a clarion call for justice, echoing across the island and resonating in the hearts of all Jamaicans. The Morant Bay Rebellion of 1865 marked a turning point in Gordon's journey. Arrested without cause, his commitment to justice never wavered. Faced with a rigged trial and an unjust sentence, Gordon's spirit remained unbroken. His sacrifice became a rallying cry for the nation, inspiring a wave of reforms that would forever change the course of Jamaican history. In the face of adversity, George William Gordon stood tall. His legacy, a testament to his unwavering commitment to equality, continues to inspire generations of Jamaicans. His story, a beacon of hope, shines brightly in the diverse tapestry of modern Jamaica, reminding us all of the power of one voice to effect change. 
The story of George William Gordon is not just a story of one man's fight for justice, it is the story of a nation's journey towards equality, a journey that continues today. It is a reminder of the power of a single voice, and the lasting impact that one person can make. And so, as we navigate the complexities of our modern world, let us remember the legacy of George William Gordon. Let his story inspire us to stand up for what is right, to speak out against injustice, and to strive for a world where every person is treated with dignity and respect. For it is through our collective efforts that we can truly honor the legacy of George William Gordon and continue his fight for a more equitable world. In the vast expanse of the Caribbean, the island of Jamaica, bathed in tropical sunlight, pulses with a rhythm all its own. Yet beneath this vibrant melody there is a haunting echo, a chilling whisper of a time when the island was a stage for human suffering. The year was 1655, and the arrival of enslaved Africans marked an era of oppression and despair. Yet, from these depths of adversity arose a conductor of change, a man named Sam Sharp. Born into the crucible of slavery around the year 1780, young Sharp witnessed firsthand the dehumanizing conditions endured by his people. Yet, within this young man, a flame of resistance was kindled. A flame that would, in time, set ablaze the very foundations of oppression. As the years rolled by, Sharp grew to become a beacon of hope. A self-educated man, he utilized his position as a deacon to organize clandestine gatherings, where he sowed the seeds of rebellion and whispered the dream of freedom into the hearts of the oppressed. The year 1831 marked a pivotal point in history. A crescendo of discontent culminated in the Great Jamaican Slave Revolt. At the helm of this uprising stood Sam Sharp, orchestrating a symphony of liberation, leading thousands in a chorus of defiance against the shackles of slavery. His eloquence echoed through the sugarcane fields, resonating within the hearts of those yearning for freedom. His voice, a force to be reckoned with, demanded justice and equality. Yet the path to freedom was fraught with peril. In the aftermath of the revolt, Sharp faced a trial that would determine the fate of countless lives. His courage unwavering, his spirit indomitable, Sharp faced his accusers with dignity and resolve. Though his life was cut short, his legacy was far from over. The echoes of Sharp's voice lingered, a testament to his indomitable spirit. Emancipation dawned, a new era beckoned, and the reverberations of Sam Sharp's defiance echoed through the corridors of time. Today, modern Jamaica stands as a vibrant testament to Sam Sharp's legacy. His voice of freedom, once a mere whisper in the shadows, now roars through the annals of history, a constant reminder of the indomitable spirit of a man who dared to challenge the chains of oppression. His legacy, an inspiration for all those who yearn for justice and equality, continues to shape the vibrant tapestry of Jamaica. A tapestry woven with threads of courage, resilience, and an undying quest for freedom. In the vast expanse of the Caribbean, the island of Jamaica, bathed in tropical sunlight, pulses with a rhythm all its own. Yet beneath this vibrant melody there is a haunting echo, a chilling whisper of a time when the island was a stage for human suffering. The year was 1655, and the arrival of enslaved Africans marked an era of oppression and despair. Yet, from these depths of adversity arose a conductor of change, a man named Sam Sharp. Born into the crucible of slavery around the year 1780, young Sharp witnessed firsthand the dehumanizing conditions endured by his people. Yet, within this young man, a flame of resistance was kindled, a flame that would, in time, set ablaze the very foundations of oppression. As the years rolled by, Sharp grew to become a beacon of hope, a self-educated man, he utilized his position as a deacon to organize clandestine gatherings, where he sowed the seeds of rebellion and whispered the dream of freedom into the hearts of the oppressed. The year 1831 marked a pivotal point in history. A crescendo of discontent culminated in the Great Jamaican Slave Revolt. At the helm of this uprising stood Sam Sharp, orchestrating a symphony of liberation, leading thousands in a chorus of defiance against the shackles of slavery. His eloquence echoed through the sugarcane fields, resonating within the hearts of those yearning for freedom. His voice, a force to be reckoned with, demanded justice and equality. Yet the path to freedom was fraught with peril. In the aftermath of the revolt, Sharp faced a trial that would determine the fate of countless lives. 
His courage unwavering, his spirit indomitable, Sharp faced his accusers with dignity and resolve. Though his life was cut short, his legacy was far from over. The echoes of Sharp's voice lingered, a testament to his indomitable spirit. Emancipation dawned, a new era beckoned, and the reverberations of Sam Sharp's defiance echoed through the corridors of time. Today, modern Jamaica stands as a vibrant testament to Sam Sharp's legacy. His voice of freedom, once a mere whisper in the shadows, now roars through the annals of history, a constant reminder of the indomitable spirit of a man who dared to challenge the chains of oppression. His legacy, an inspiration for all those who yearn for justice and equality, continues to shape the vibrant tapestry of Jamaica. A tapestry woven with threads of courage, resilience, and an undying quest for freedom. Picture a man born into a legacy of leadership and progress. A man by the name of Norman Washington Manley. He was more than just the son of the esteemed Norman Manley. He was a torchbearer of his father's vision, a beacon of change in his own right. Norman Washington Manley's story begins in the heart of Jamaica, in a family that was deeply committed to societal reform. His name wasn't the only thing he inherited from his father, he was also the recipient of a profound legacy of progress and social justice. Education for Manley was not a privilege, but a right. He believed in the power of knowledge, the strength of an enlightened mind. Tirelessly, he championed for educational reform, advocating for social justice and community empowerment that echoed across the verdant hills and bustling cities of Jamaica. But his vision didn't stop there. As Jamaica yearned for independence, Manley emerged as a steadfast leader. His strategic acumen, coupled with his unwavering commitment, was instrumental in guiding the nation towards the dawn of self-governance. His policies, too, were a reflection of his progressive ideals. Land reform, social welfare initiatives, they all bore his signature, a testament to his relentless pursuit of a more equitable society. Today, the legacy of Norman Washington Manley lives on. Not just in the annals of Jamaican history, but in the very fabric of its society. His progressive vision continues to shape Jamaica, steering it towards a future where equality and progress are not just ideals, but realities. In a nutshell, Norman Washington Manley was more than a leader. He was a visionary, a changemaker, whose commitment to progress continues to influence Jamaica's journey towards a more equitable future. He was, and continues to be, a beacon of progressive leadership that resonates in the heart of Jamaica and beyond. In the world of sports, speed is king. But in the realm of Usain Bolt, speed is a revolution. His breathtaking velocity didn't just break records, it shattered boundaries, redefined possibilities, and set the globe ablaze with awe and inspiration. Born in the small town of Sherwood Content in Jamaica, Bolt's journey to global stardom wasn't a sprint, but a marathon of hard work, determination, and an unwavering belief in his own potential. As a young boy, his raw talent was evident. His speed was not just a skill, but a gift, a force of nature that would soon catapult him onto the world stage. His incredible speed, coupled with his charismatic personality, made him more than just an athlete. Usain Bolt became a symbol of excellence, an icon of speed, and an ambassador of the human spirit. His signature pose, the lightning bolt, became a symbol of victory, a testament to his triumph over the odds. But Bolt's impact didn't stop at the finish line. His influence transcended borders, cultures, and generations. His speed became a beacon of hope, a source of inspiration for millions of aspiring athletes who dared to dream of achieving the seemingly impossible. In his home country, Bolt was more than a sports hero. He was a national treasure, a beacon of pride and unity. His achievements brought a nation together instilling a sense of pride and unity that resonated far beyond the confines of a sporting arena. On the global stage, Bolt's impact was nothing short of electrifying. His races weren't just events, they were spectacles. His speed, charisma, and infectious smile captivated audiences worldwide, turning him into a global icon. But the legacy of Usain Bolt isn't just about the records he shattered or the medals he won. It's about the inspiration he continues to instill in generations. It's about the belief he instilled in us that speed is not just about physical prowess, but about dedication, confidence, and a mindset that refuses to accept limitations. Spolt's legacy will forever echo in the hearts of those who witnessed his races, 
in the aspiring athletes who dream of matching his speed, and in the belief that with determination and dedication, one can reach unimaginable heights. Usain Bolt, the lightning-fast legend whose impact transcended the track, continues to be a hero admired worldwide. His speed did more than win races, it won hearts and minds, and redefined what it means to be a champion. In the chilly world of winter sports, an unlikely team emerged to etch their names in history, the Jamaican bobsled team. Novices in a cold realm, their perseverance and determination warmed hearts globally, turning them into true trailblazers. From the sun-drenched fields of Jamaica to the icy twists of bobsled tracks, the Jamaican team embarked on an unprecedented journey. Novices in winter sports, they faced challenges that would deter the faint-hearted. But what they lacked in experience, they compensated with an indomitable spirit. The team's resilience, dedication, and unwavering camaraderie propelled them forward, defying the odds with every icy turn. In a historic twist, the Jamaican bobsled team qualified for the Winter Olympics, a moment that echoed across the globe. Their triumph transcended borders, embodying the Jamaican spirit of resilience, tenacity, and breaking barriers. Beyond the competition, the Jamaican bobsled team became ambassadors of the Caribbean on ice. Their journey inspired a global audience, proving that the Jamaican spirit knows no bounds, not even in the world of winter sports. The Jamaican bobsled team, with their daring slide through icy trails, left an indelible mark. Their historic qualification wasn't just a triumph in sports, but a testament to the power of resilience, unity, and the unyielding spirit of the Jamaican people.